welcome to the show. This broadcast is brought to you by a new Lucid group of companies. Show the story, engage audiences, and spread the word. Visit newlucid.com for all your business development needs, including new world lead generation, leading edge marketing concepts, and sales coaching. New Lucid will help you increase your sales with innovative pull marketing techniques and a translucent communication style that builds trust. Also brought to you by netcastevent.com, offering professional turnkey business interviews over Skype or Google Hangout. Need to leverage video? Visit netcastevent.com for more information. And salestopaday.com, your free daily source for sales and marketing help. Enjoy the show. You say it's like it's the number one communication tool that people use, right? Target demographics are, are you know, everyone carries one of these. And, um, uh, you know, if, if someone's going to talk to you on a phone, they're not going to pick up the phone and call you because it's, I, you know, most people don't want to be sold to, but I want to, no. I want to get that <laughs> first to call or make a phone call. Yeah. It's I want to get that first touch. Right. I, I yeah. what I ideally want is I want a first touch and I want to see something and I'll tell you what, and then I'll invite you to contact me as opposed to me contacting you first right and that's yes. kind of the approach that we've taken this I f- was just a side note here one of the funniest things i saw the other day i was driving down the street and i saw an electrical truck and they had their fax number on the side of it i'm going like who the hell would remember that right <laughs> they, just so, did, they just decided not to change the page off. well i guess i guess it came, because it's it accompanied the rust very well they were, they were they were waiting for that mobile fax market to take <laughs> off like, right oh I my so. god i have to i get to run and fax that truck. <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was the funniest thing i get unfortunately i didn't have my phone out to take a picture of it because I really wanted to put it on my blog just to show here's bad marketing I think so <laughs> anyway sorry about that Joe. we're back on we were, we're yeah. recording again um, we can either hold that or go to that thought or we could go back to or we could uh, keep moving on if you want I well I think yeah, I mean, yeah. We, 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 the point I was making is that we're, we're collecting we're, we're, we're allowing this to happen at scale with with, with attaching strong databases to the communication. Mm-hmm. The example of the Sacramento Kings is we learn an awful, we, we create, they, they create for an in-venue during the basketball game reason for people to communicate. But then when people aren't in the basketball game and when there's a you know, Justin Bieber concert happening in Sacramento, they can send their preferred people who they understand might be in the position to like Justin Bieber, the opportunity to buy tickets in advance and, and service them more that way and upsell them with that combined with, you know, a meal at the uh, at the at the at the at the arena, um, at the special arena restaurant and so on and so forth. And what they find is that when they communicate conversationally with their customers who have and this is critical, opted in to receive messaging and so have requested to be a part of this conversation. Which, which we were we were discussing earlier, which is this is this is someone this is a consumer inviting a brand to have a conversation with them. With that comes great opportunity and great responsibility. The responsibility is you should be very loyal to what that person is expecting to get from you. If all you do is say bye 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 and you don't and you don't engage in a conversation about the brand and the way the consumer wants, they'll probably opt out. And you'll know that right away because they'll opt out. But if you if you if you if you listen to what they're what the person is saying, and that's the power of database, listen to what they're saying back, and then communicate with them that offers that they've suggested they might like or information they like, you you will have an incredible opportunity. And that's what the Kings found is when people got offers that w- that they had reason to believe would be uh, uh, welcome, they had. Very, very high high return on investment per text message sent in terms of con- sale of things like tickets and and uh, op- other event opportunities. I was looking. I'm that, sorry, I'm just funneling through the book here because I'm trying to find. I remember the stats. It was incrementally they could show the dollar value of having that conversation. I think was and it was like tw- it was like ten dollars per outgoing text or something. Yeah, like it that. was. I mean, it was it was. Which is which is but if you if you attribute only the cost of the outgoing text. That's a very high ROI, yeah. but yeah. It, 
But it, it really shows the value of a well-served customer. Does that, does that only apply to like impulse purchases or is that, is that purely on a, on a relation, is that also on a relational style sales uh, process? I think it's relational. It can, it can apply on impulse, but it's, um, I think it's highly relational. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, uh, and, and it, 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 I think it would, it would depend by vertical. Yeah. So for example, I know it's a very different kind of example, but, uh, um, healthcare companies would use it to remind people to refill and comply with their prescription prescriptions. Yeah. That's well, that, I, sorry, I just that's, that's like very a, powerful, simple. right? That that in its own is very powerful. I mean, that's uh, that is that kind of it's a technology, but it's kind of the human touch behind that, correct? Where it's like you know we care enough to tell you like, hey, dude, take your medication, and they care about more. You know, it's we we see it's week three of your medication. You may be getting this negative side effect. That negative side effect, maybe you should, you know, do this to. But but don't worry. It means it's working. From from the pharma's perspective, or the insurer's perspective, or the care provider's perspective, um, that it it increases usage. It increases healthy outcomes because, uh, you know, one of the one of the larger problems in 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 medicine is adherence to drug protocols. There's something like a 40 or 50 percent drop off of people just not renewing after their second prescription. So, you know, people which leads to to negative uh, 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 health care outcomes. So the simple reminder on this uncluttered channel, it, it, I think it's both a personal touch and also kind of proof that reminding people to do things works. Mm. And if you can remind them on an uncluttered channel like. Through text and other 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 mobile um, uh, messaging media, it's a it's a terrific um, and effective way to do it. And we have all the data. It's in the book. I don't have it off the top of my head, but outcomes in terms of um, the likelihood that someone will take a drug or renew the drug go up more than twenty percent or thirty percent, um, which is which which are big big increases um, and big increases for health outcome. This works for behavior change. It works for Couponing for consumer goods, and the important thing is is making sure the right message goes to the right person. You know, this person wants their message at three o'clock in the afternoon. This and and the the other part is you can it can be conversational. You you can request that someone say confirm that they've taken their medication or text in what their blood pressure is for for a longer conversation, and that and that conversation can go on for a long time. And it can incorporate mobile web, just like the way people use their phones. It can incorporate mobile web when it makes sense, or it can trigger a phone call when it makes sense. 